Ooh, barely made it back here in time. <laughs> I joined the chorus in the newsroom <laughs> grilling Michelle Murillo. She's one of the most down-to-earth people we know, our newscaster here, but she sure went highbrow on the Notre Dame pronunciation, you know? Oh, what do we do? Take down the whole cathedral? <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> She's not going to recover from that. Jeff, um, you got to give it up for the Gators and the Seminoles. Sweet 16 in the NCAA March Madness Tournament. Did wow. You, did you have that in your bracket? No. Florida and Florida State in the Sweet 16? Well, it, no, but Florida, yes, but not. I didn't have the Seminoles. I'm I, with you on that. I had Florida there, and yeah. well, Florida State's been a surprise, a really pleasant surprise. Yeah, it's terrific. It's great news. It really, really is. You know, I mean, you, you, you think about Florida at the collegiate level, and when you're talking sports, you're talking football. But you know what? They're playing some doggone good hoops, and it's great to see them get that far. It's amazing. Some more highly regarded teams are sitting on their hands at home and watching now. Okay, we'll talk more March Madness along the way. And uh, somebody uh, go let uh, Marillo off the hook in the newsroom for me, will you, right now? Okay, good deal. She does a great job for us. Um, all right, back to this situation where Obama's Department of Justice... You know, join. You know, it, he's joined at the hip with uh, with Attorney General Eric Holder on all things. We know that, particularly when you get into the area of minorities. Okay, there's no question about it. And frankly, whatever, I don't think it's particularly a coincidence. But listen to this: the Department of Justice is committed now to coming down on behalf of minorities in bullying situations in public school systems all across this country. Kind of the new Obama doctrine in this regard. I mean, I don't think they should have a dog in this hunt for crying out loud. Can our local school districts handle anything alone? Can the Obama administration keep its paws off anything in this country? Does it all have to be about federal government overreach and intervention and domination and control? The Department of Justice's website states this. The Civil Rights Division and the entire Justice Department are committed to ending bullying and harassment in schools. And the video highlights the department's authority to enforce federal laws that protect students from discrimination and harassment at school because of their race, national origin, disability, religion, and sex, including harassment based on nonconformity with gender stereotypes. In other words, if you're a bullying victim and you're a minority, da -da -da -da, here comes the heavy hand of the Obama Justice Department under Attorney General Eric Holder to your rescue. But if maybe you're just... I don't know, just a heterosexual white kid who gets pummeled around and bullied, you're going to get no help from them in Washington whatsoever. Does anybody have a fundamental problem with that? I most certainly do. Justice Department shouldn't be involved in any of this. And if they're going to be involved in it, they should not be involved in it based on solely lending their resources to minorities. 407-916-5400. By minorities, I mean, I mean not just racial minorities. I mean, say you're gay. Now, if you're a bullying victim and you're white and you're gay, you got help from the Obama administration. If you're a bullying victim and you're white and you're straight, <laughs> they don't want to know from nothing that you got your face rearranged for the 15th time by a bully. The statement later on the Department of Justice's website says the enforcement of the Equal Protection Clause, Title IV of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, and Title IX of the Education Amendments of 1972 in school districts is a top priority of the Justice Department's Civil Rights Division. Additional information available and blah, 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 blah. But the catch is, as I said, the Department of Justice will only investigate bullying cases if the victim is considered protected under civil rights legislation. So only discrimination against a victim's race, sex, national origin, disability, or religion will be considered by the Department of Justice. That overweight, straight, white male who is verbally or physically harassed because of his size can consider himself invisible to the Justice Department. If you're not a minority, you get no help. What in the world is going on here? Oh, and let me say something. Let me say something on this. 
This actually cuts another way. Great piece in the Washington Examiner on this. The Justice Department's anti-bullying initiative is tantamount to bringing hate crime legislation to the public school system, they write. Obviously, not only is the heterosexual white male student out of luck in terms of getting help if he's a bullying victim from the Department of Justice, but inner city minority students lose out on this deal, too. If a schoolyard bully is a straight black male and his target is another straight black male, well, where does that leave the victim in the eyes of Attorney General Eric Holder? Interesting questions. None of these questions should even exist because the Justice Department should not be intervening in local school district bullying issues. It's the heavy hand again. Mike in Lake Mary, good morning at 740. Nice to have you here, Mike. What do you think? Hey, bud, you're completely wrong. Okay, help me out. Okay, on the basis of race means that, hypothetically, if you're an African-American male bullies a white male because of the white male's race, the white male is covered. Race means race, not white excluded. Oh, I don't think they would pursue that for a second, and neither do you. Bud, I'm an attorney. I, <laughs> yes. They would never pursue that. This is all about protecting minorities. But read your civil rights case law on employment discrimination, on housing discrimination, on disability discrimination. White people are covered if they're discriminated against on the basis of their race, bud. Come on. You, you, you send me... Look, 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 learn something before you spout off, okay? Listen, pal, you, yeah. you, you send me an email... And you cite chapter and verse of whether the Obama, uh, where the Obama Justice Department has ever intervened in a way I just said. If you have a black kid pummeling a white kid in a bullying situation, they will be nowhere to be found, and you know it. Because of the white kid's race, absolutely. And the Supreme Court has said so in other areas of identically worded civil rights legislation. Is there any example you can cite me, sir? You know the law. Go ahead. Tell me. Cite, will, cite the I, case I, I right will, now. I will, I will. Well, you don't have this off the top of your head, Mike? Come on, bud. This is an impromptu phone call. Of course, I don't have to cite the case. I have a case from the Supreme Court. I know that one of the parties' names was Santa Fe, and they ruled that white people are protected under civil rights legislation, bud. Come on. And I will email you the cite. That's fine. Excellent. And I will look forward to it, Mike. It's always nice to hear from you. 742 on the 50,000-watt front porch. Real-time traffic and weather together as we continue. Hey, the Bud Man here for my good friends at the Filatowski Cataract and LASIK Institute, where you sure can smell spring in the air, but, you know, maybe you're not seeing it the way you used to, huh? Are cataracts maybe starting to blur your vision, making those spring colors seem less vibrant than you remember? It kind of creeps up on you, doesn't it? Well, then it is time to do something, and do it today. Have your cataracts removed by Dr. Conrad Filatowski, the best in the business. Dr. Filatowski's done well over 30,000 of these cataract procedures. It is simple, it is safe, and it can be a life changer. He is among the most experienced cataract surgeons anywhere. I mean, my goodness, who else would you want working on your eyes? And now the best is even better because, you see, Dr. Filatowski's the exclusive provider 
of the new clear upgrade to cataract surgery. This is amazing stuff. With a new clear upgrade, youthful vision can be yours, and most patients wind up having little or no need for glasses. I said it's a life changer. It really is. Find out and learn more. You call them and tell them the Bud Man said, hey, William, the number is 800-EYE-EXAM. 800-EYE-EXAM. Get rid of those cataracts. Online, myvisionfreedom.com. It's clear to see why you should call Dr. Filatowski. Hey, you want to save some serious money on your homeowner's insurance premiums? I mean, we're all trying to tighten up when on the family budget anywhere we can, and you may be paying way too much for homeowners. I mean, State Farm wants another 28%. I mean, where does it all end? Well, it ends with a contact of Florida insurance specialists through their amazing website, challengemyrate.com. In minutes, you'll find out what you can save. Check it out, challengemyrate.com. This will blow your mind. One of my listeners did so, was paying $7,000 a year for homeowners with bankers and got switched by Florida insurance specialist to Gulfstream for 1900 bucks, same coverage, save $5,100. Now, maybe you can't save that much, but hey, it's your money. Find out what you can save at challengemyrate.com, challengemyrate.com, or call Florida insurance specialist at 407-805-0200.